Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalanyam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. Welcome to the problem number 8 in the steam nozzle. We solve few problems in the steam nozzle from the recent Anna University question paper. Before we take the problem, we review the properties of the steam. The specific volume of the steam, wet steam, V wet equal to 1 minus x into Vf plus x into Vg. For dry steam, V dry equal to Vg. For superheated steam, V super equal to Vg into T divided by Ts, where T is the temperature of the superheated steam, Ts is the saturation temperature. And the specific enthalpy of the steam, for wet steam, H, H wet equal to Hf plus x into Hfg. For dry steam, H dry equal to Hg. Superheated steam, H super equal to Hg plus Cp into T minus Ts. The specific entropy of the steam, for wet steam, S wet equal to Sf plus x into Sfg. For dry steam, S dry equal to Sg. And for superheated steam, S super equal to Sg plus Cp into logarithmic of T by Ts. The first problem, in this lecture, from May 2006 question paper, Dry saturated steam enters a steam nozzle at a pressure 12 bar and is discharged to a pressure of 1.5 bar. If the dryness fraction of the steam discharged from st discharged steam is 0 0.95, what will be the final velocity of the steam? Neglect the initial velocity of the steam. So we are given P1 equal to 12 bar and it is dry saturated steam, P2 equal to 1.5 bar and dryness fraction at the exit is 0 0.95. From the steam table, at a 12 bar dry saturated condition, H1 equal to Hg1, which is 2782.7 kilojoules per kilogram. And from steam table again, at the pressure P2 equal to 1.5 bar, Hf2 equal to 467.1 kilojoules per kilogram, Hfg2 equal to 2226.3 kilojoules per kilogram. We calculate the specific enthalpy of the steam at the exit. H2 equal to for wet steam HF2 plus X2 into HFG2 substituting 467.1 plus 0 0.95 into 2226.3 equal to 2582.085 kJ per kilogram. The final velocity of the steam for isentropic flow V2 equal to square root of 2 into H1 minus H2. So, V2 equal to square root of 2 into 2782.7 minus 2582.085 into 1000. The 1000 multiplying by 1000 to convert the enthalpy in, into from kilojoules per kilogram to joules per kilogram. So, calculating the final velocity is 633.4 meters per second. Next question from 2009, November 2009 question paper. Steam at a pressure of 12 bar and 573 Kelvin is expanded isentropically through a nozzle at a pressure 2 bar. Determine the maximum mass for it through the nozzle of 0. 00015 meter square area. So, we are given P1 equal to 12 bar, temperature T1 equal to 573 Kelvin equal to 300 degree Celsius, P2 equal to 2 bar and area A equal to 0. 0.0005015 meter square. The polytropic index for the superheated steam N equal to 1.3. So, from the superheated steam table, the specific volume of the steam at P1 equal to 12 bar and T1, T equal to 300 degree Celsius, V1 equal to 0 0.1239 meter cube per kilogram. The maximum mass flow rate through the nozzle, M by A maximum equal to square root of 2N by N plus 1, P1 by V1 into 2 by N plus 1 to the power 2 by N minus 1. And here N is the polytropic index. For superheated steam, polytropic index equal to 1.3. So, M by A maximum. So, maximum mass flow rate will occur at the throat section. M by A maximum equal to square root of 2 into 1.3 divided by 1.3 plus 1 multiplied by 12 into 10 power 5. So, to convert 12 bar into newtons per meter square divided by specific column 0 0.1239 multiplied by 2 by 1.3 plus 1 to the power 2 by 1.3 minus 1. So, calculating M by A maximum equal to 1580.08 kilogram, kilogram per second meter square. So, the maximum mass flow rate equal to 1580.08 multiplied by the area 0 0.00015 equal to 0 0.237 kilogram per second. 
the answer to the question the maximum mass flow rate equal to 0.237 kilograms per second next question from november 2021 question paper the recent question paper a convergent divergent nozzle is required to discharge 350 kg of steam per hour the nozzle is supplied with the steam at 8.5 bar and 90 percent dry discharges against a back pressure of 0.4 bar neglecting the effect of friction find the throat and the exit diameters so this is the convergent divergent nozzle where the inlet section is 1 2 is the throat section and the exit section is 3 so we are given mass flow rate equal to 350 kg per hour which is 0.097 kg per second initial pressure p1 equal to 8.5 bar x1 equal to 0.9 the exit pressure p3 equal to 0.4 bar so from the steam table at the pressure p1 equal to 8.5 bar we take all the properties hf1 equal to 732.05 hf g1 equal to 2037.9 sf1 equal to 2.0705 sf g1 equal to 4.5685 and v g1 equal to 0.226485 meter cube per kilogram now i calculate the properties of the steam at the inlet h1 for wet steam it is wet steam h1 equal to hf1 plus x1 to hf g1 732.05 multi plus 0.9 into 2037.9 equal to 2566.16 kilojoules per kilogram sf s1 equal to sf1 plus x1 into sf g1 2.0705 plus 0.9 multiplied by 4.5685 equal to 6.18215 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And the specific volume V1 equal to X1 VG1 0.9 multiplied by 0 0.22684 equal to 0 0.20384 meter cube per kilogram. The polytropic index for the wet steam N equal to 1.035 plus 0 0.1 times of X1. 1.035 plus 0.1 into 0.9 equal to 1.13. Now the throat pressure from the for a, for the isentropic flow P2 by P1 equal to 2 by n plus 1 to the power n by n minus 1. So 2 divided by 1.13 plus 1 to the power 1.13 divided by 1.13 minus 1 equal to 0.578. So P2 equal to 0.578 multiplied by 8.5 equal to 4.9 bar. Now from the steam table at P2 equal to 4.9 bar. We take all the properties HF2 636.8, HFG2 2109.8, SF2 1.853, SFG2 4.973, VG2 0.38186 meter cube per kilogram. Now we want the quality at the throat section. So for isentropic flow, S1 equal to S2, S1 equal to SF2 plus X2 into SFG2. So 6.18215 equal to 1.81. 853 plus x2 into 4.973 now calculating x2 equal to 0 0.87 now calculate the properties of the steam h2 equal to hf2 plus x2 into hfg2 636.8 plus 0 0.87 2109.8 equal to 2472.326 kilojoules per kilogram and the v2 specific column v2 equal to x2 into vg2 which is 0 0.87 into 0 0.38186 equal to 0.3322 meter cube per kilogram. Now velocity at the throat section V2 equal to square root of 2 into H1 minus H2. Substituting square root of 2 into 2566.16 minus 2472.326 multiplied by 1000 equal to 433.2 meters per second. And the diameter of the throat A2 equal to mass flow rate in specific column divided by velocity. So, which is 0 0.097 multiplied by 0 0.3322 divided by 433.2 equal to 7.438 in 10 power minus 5 meter square. So, diameter equal to square root of 7.438 in 10 power minus 5 into 4 by pi. So, area equal to pi by 4 d1 d2 square. So, calculating it is 9.73 in 10 power minus 3 meter, 9.73 millimeter. Now, from the steam tool again. P3 equal to 0 0.4 bar that is outlet at the exit section. We take the properties of the steam HF3 equal to 317.7, HFG3 equal to 2319.2, HF3 equal to 1.026, SFG3 equal to 6.645 and VG3 equal to 3.9934 meter cube per kilogram. The drainage fraction of the steam at the exit for isentropic flow S1 equal to S3, S1 equal to SF3 plus X3 into SFG3. Cal substituting 6.18215 equal to 1.026 plus x3 into 6.645 
calculating x3 equal to 0 0.77. We calculate the properties at the exit, h3 equal to hf3 plus x3 into hf g3, which is 317.7 plus 0 0.77 into 2319.2 equal to 2103.484 kJ per kilogram and V3 equal to X3 into VG3 0 0.77 into 3.9934 equal to 3.0749 metric cube per kilogram. Now we calculate the velocity at the exit. So V3 equal to square root of 2 into H1 minus H3 substituting 2 into 2 square root of 2 into 2566.16 minus 2103.484 into 1000 equal to 961.95 meters per second. Now, the diameter of the exit A3 equal to M into V3 by capital V3 velocity 0 0.097 into 3.0749 divided by 961.95 equal to 3.14 10 power minus 4 meter square and D3 equal to square root of 3.1 into 10 power minus 4 into 4 by pi equal to 0 0.0198 meter which is 19.8 millimeter. So, the diameter of the throat section is 9.78 millimeter and the diameter of the exit section is 19.8 millimeter. These are all the answers to the problem. So, we stop here. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture uh, in the problem in steam table, steam, uh, steam nozzle from the unionistic question paper. Until then, bye.